Hey guys, I'm Jordan and you're watching Fixbook. After watching this video, your car problems stand about as much a chance as this laptop does against my hot leg. Now, make sure you stay tuned so you can see what happened to the laptop at the end of this video. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to replace a fuel filter on your Oldsmobile entry. Okay guys, and for today's project, what you'll need is a 3 8 ratchet with a 13mm socket, a pair of vice grips, a 16mm combination wrench, a pair of needle nose pliers, something to catch the fuel that pours out, and of course you need a jack and jack stands as well. And with all that said, we'll go ahead and begin today's project. Okay guys, now before I start this video, I want to give you a good idea of where the fuel filter actually sets. And I don't know, I don't think you're going to have to actually remove your wheel to get to your fuel filter, but for me to get a good shot and to give you a good idea of where it's at, we're just going to look right underneath here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit and there it is, it's sitting right there. That's our fuel filter. Now I'll show you how to remove it and install your new one. And I don't know how good the shots are going to be, but that should give you a good idea if, like, we're just looking right down there. It's right underneath this rear uh, driver's side door, and you'll see me working on it here in just a moment. Okay, guys, so the first thing we got to do is we're going to come over here to your fuse and relay box. We're going to remove this piece right here. And what we've got to do is we've got to relieve the fuel pressure. So the way we're going to go about doing that is we're going to disable your fuel pump and then we're going to start the car and run the pressure down. You're going to start the car and let the car die on its own. And what you can do is you can look on the back of this uh, fuse and relay box and find your fuel pump relay. For this particular car, it's going to be this one right here, or this particular year and model or not. It's going to be this one. It's going to be your fuel pump relay. So I'm just going to grab onto them and pull them off. I have to just wiggle them a little bit. There we go. And just take note of how you removed it. Well, this one can only go back in one way. So if it's a five prong and it can only go in one way, you should be all right. But if for some reason it's four prong or it's got six prongs that can go in either way, just take note of how you remove it. So now we're just going to set this guy to the side. I'm going to start the car up and wait till it dies. Okay guys, so here I am. I'm starting up the car and you'll hear it die here just this way. Okay guys, and the next thing you want to do is come over here and just find a place to lift up on the back of the car. I'll show you here. Oh, there's a place right there in the middle you can kind of lift up on. You'll have to have a big jack in order to do that. And we'll be able to come underneath the car and our fuel filter is going to be somewhere right, right around there underneath the car and I'll show you that here in just a second that's where we're going to be working on it we'll get under the car and then we'll take a look at that fuel filter okay guys so here we are underneath your car and we can see our fuel filter is mounted right here we've got this bracket we got a 13 millimeter bolt we got to remove here and then we got a a quick connect disconnect on this side of the fuel filter and over here we're going to have to use a combination wrench to loosen up that guy and then we'll be able to remove this guy so first things first we'll I'll go ahead and remove this bolt here and then show you where I'm at after that okay guys so once you've gotten your bolt undone here you can kind of just wiggle this guy out of your way and we're gonna need to transfer this piece onto your new fuel filter and also we've got this quick connect disconnect up here and really guys they make a tool for it but you can either use pliers or your fingers you should just be able to squeeze you'll see a little white piece there and you should be able to squeeze and push back to get this guy off we can see I've got fuel coming out now and I should just about have them off here, like so. Woo we got quite a bit of fuel there, so um, you may want to use a drain pan, and I may wait until I get my my other side off here, and then replace this guy. I'm trying to do it as quickly as possible, so we're gonna get that guy off. I'll go ahead and get a combination wrench. Go ahead and undo this guy, and then I'll just pull that thing off there, like you saw me do, and I'll swap out that fuel filter. We'll do it there pretty quick. 
Okay guys, so the next thing I've going on here is I didn't have a 21 millimeter combination wrench and I think that's the one you're going to use to hold the fuel filter. It may or may not be 21 millimeters, but the other thing here, the line fitting, that's what I'll call it, that's going to be 16 millimeters. So you take a 16 millimeter combination wrench and so I've used a pair of vice grips instead of a big combination wrench and so you can take a uh, vice grips 16 millimeter combination wrench and you're gonna spin this fitting lefty loopsy so this piece right here needs to be going this way my fingers going up so it needs to if you're looking at it this way it's gonna be spinning left at the top so make sure you loosen up that guy I've got mine loosened up and about all the way off and I'll show you when I get everything off here Okay guys, now you can see I've got the fuel filter off and we've just got that line that I was talking about earlier. And basically, when you get this line fitting off and out of your way, you'll just be able to slide it away. And the fuel filter will still be staying up there. You're going to push away on the line side and push the other way on the filter side. And those two will just disconnect there. And now all we've got to do is we've got to take that line off right there, get our filter off. And then we'll stick our new filter back on and then we'll lift them back in and we'll set them back up and I'll show you that. Here you go, I'll go ahead and show you. You're just gonna kinda lift back up here and you'll set this guy back on your line and you'll slip him in and then you'll slip that fitting back in and get him started back in there. So, But I'll go ahead and show you the fuel filter off and putting the new one in. Okay guys, so here we are with our two filters and basically we just wanna get this piece on this piece. So we're just gonna kinda pull off and then we'll put them on just the same way it came off there. So, there we go, now we're ready to install our new fuel filter. Okay guys, and I'm gonna wrap this video up for you while we're not underneath the car because it's easier for me to film things here. Basically, what we've got is we've got the quick connect disconnect and like you took that hose off, what you were doing is you are just squeezing and pulling off. Now the easy thing is installation, you're just gonna slip that little hose over and it'll just snap right on. Then, like I was saying underneath there, you're going to lift your piece up here and you're going to work that fitting into this piece here and then just get them started and tighten them up. So that's pretty much all there is. Now, as far as this guy's concerned, you're just going to bolt that 13 millimeter bolt right up in there and you're tightening up uh, tight, not too tight. And that's pretty much it. So, And hey guys, one more thing I almost failed to mention. Remember to get your fuel pump relay and plug him back in there. And also, when you go to start your car, what you want to do is turn your keys to the on position to where you get your fuel pump cut on and turn it back off and do it. R wash, rinse, and repeat. Do that process over and over because you'll need to build fuel pressure back up and the fuel is going to have to make it to the engine. So it could take a while to start the car, but just keep doing that, you know, to the on position, not crank, but turn your keys to the on position, you'll hear that, uh, which will be your little fuel pump, and then turn it off, then back on. Just do that about a handful of times, and then try and start it. If it doesn't start, wash, rinse, and repeat until you get your car started. So that pretty much concludes today's project. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch all my new videos which publish Mondays and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 11 a.m. Central Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time and I will see you then.